Uh, good day, grade 10 learners, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today, uh, i-discuss natin ang isa sa mga type, types ng sequence, which is yung Fibonacci sequence. So, the end term of a Fibonacci sequence can be obtained by the formula. By the way, itong Fibonacci sequence na to ay unique sequence na madali nyo siyang matatanan because it follows a specific pattern. So, we're in... It is obtained by the formula a sub n equals to a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 for n should be greater than 2. So, meron siyang initial terms na 1 and 1. So, based on sa ating uh, formula, so, makukuha daw natin yung next term by adding the first two terms. So, 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus 3, 5. 3 plus 5, 8. 5 plus 8, 13. 8 plus 13, 21. 13 plus 21, 34. And so on. So, ito ang tinatawag nating Fibonacci sequence. So, as what I've told you, parang it follows a specific pattern based on dun sa formula para makuha mo yung next terms just like this one. If you are going to continue, which is at 21 and 34 to get the next term. So, alam ko na nakita nyo na tong sequence na to siguro or familiar na kayo and that is what we call Fibonacci sequence but what if we are asked to find the end term so meron po ba tayong specific na formula na pwedeng gamitin yes we have pero doon sa ating final answer we are expect uh, we are expecting to have somewhat round uh, rounding of errors but probably uh, malapit naman siya doon sa katotohanan ng sagot if we are going to continue what if we are asked to get the 50th term. So, instead of continuing the pattern, so, meron tayong formula na pwedeng gamitin. So, this is the formula that we are going to use in finding the end term of the given Fibonacci sequence. So, let us see if this formula really works. So, to compare, gumawa ko dito ng uh, Fibonacci sequence. So, by adding uh, the first and the second term to get the third term and then the rest of the terms by using the formula until I get the until I got the 25th term because dito sa ating formula hahanapin natin yung ating uh, 25th term kung 75,025 para masabi natin ng formula na to ay pwedeng gamitin for the Fibonacci sequence because Doing it manually, talagang it's really hard. ba? Unless, uh, we use calculator. So, what if we are asked to find the 50th term? So, medyo mahirap na yun kasi sobrang dami ng mga terms. So, we're in, in ko lang siya and then nakuha ko yung uh, 25th term na 75,025. So, dito sa ating formula, makita kayo na, ng ganto symbol. So, it means that is the golden ratio. So, ito ay, binigyan ko siya ng value because ito ay makikita nyo sa file calculator and ang available lang ay scientific calculator. So, ang value ng file uh, na golden ratio natin ay 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Kasi gagamitin natin siya sa formula ng Fibonacci sequence na f sub n equals to the golden ratio raised to n minus 1 minus the golden ratio raised to n all over square root of 5. So, madali lang yan. You just substitute all the values. So, alam na natin ang value ng golden ratio that is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. By the way, we are asked to find the 25th term of the given Fibonacci sequence. And then, raised to 25 minus 1 minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 raised to 25 all over square root of 5 
So, f sub 25 equals. So, ngayon, ay idedirekta na natin sa calculator. And then, I will be teaching you on how. So, you have here a scientific calculator. Ayan. And then, you have here the fraction sign. Then, maglagay ulit tayo ng fraction sa numerator. So, let's start open parenthesis. And then, ang ating numerator ay 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Then, close parenthesis raised to 25. Then, move lang natin sa gitna. Minus, open parenthesis natin, 1 minus fraction sign. yung value ng uh, golden ratio 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then close parenthesis raised to 25 ayan, trebihin ulit natin yung inilagay natin ayan, we have here 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 25 minus the quantity of 1 minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 raised to 25. Then, ang ating denominator ay square root of 5. Yan. And then, enter. The value is 75,025. It is exactly the same dito sa ating nakuha na 75,025 nung minanumano ko yung pagkuha ng golden ratio. So, we just write out 75,000. And it really works, right? So, therefore, in finding the n term of the Fibonacci sequence, so you can make use of uh, this formula. So, you can make use of this formula. Golden ratio raised to n minus the quantity of 1 minus golden ratio raised to n all over square root of 5. And don't forget the value of the golden ratio that is 1 plus square root of 5 all over it too. So, I hope that you learned something today. And don't forget to like and share this video and see you on our next video lesson.